Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, today we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, what I carry in my day, my, my, my day pack or my range bag, uh, which I don't really have a range bag, it's just a day pack. Um, it's a pretty good sized day pack really. Uh, so, And we want to talk a little bit about the pack that I use. So I guess we'll start there. So I've got a, this is a Badlands. Uh, this is the Stealth model and it is featherweight, super lightweight, but very, uh, very durable, uh, water resistant or repellent. Um, I do put an extra coat of uh, Camp Dry on here. It, it works quite well. Um, one of the things I really like about this pack is on the back here, it has this mesh and then these, these ribs in here, uh, real nice foam ribs, but it keeps, uh, it, it keeps you from sweating. I'm not that you're not going to sweat, but it's not sticking to you real bad. It's, it's, get, you get a lot of airflow through here. That's very nice. The padding on this is nice. Um, it's got lots and lots of pockets. Each side has an outside pocket, a zip-up pocket, and then a little mesh divider on the inside to separate some stuff out. And that's true on both sides of this. That's the same thing, basically. It also has, on your waist strap, it has uh, pockets there, and those are very handy. On the front, you've got uh, all kinds of straps and little things to hook stuff to. I carry my uh, spotting scope. I strap that right through this here. So on the inside of the pack, the inside has got <clears throat> tons of room in here. Uh, it, it, it actually, it's quite large really. Uh, there's also your hydration uh, pocket here. And on the inside here, right there, there's a little hole there for the tube that comes out and it feeds right down through this. And you can just clip it right onto this here. So very, very nice. Um, these are... Uh, these are excellent packs. They're they're not cheap packs. Uh, they're this is about 150 bucks, but I've been running with this pack now for about a year, and it is hands down it's the best pack that I own. Um, actually, I don't own any other packs right now. My wife she runs the uh, Badlands Pursuit, a little bit different design, but uh, still very good. And I used to have an Everly stock, and the Everlys are they're really nice packs. They're huge. I had the one with the great big gun scabbard. In, in it and stuff, but I swear to God that pack weighed like 20 pounds just by itself. High quality, great pack, but way too much weight, especially when you start throwing on all this other stuff. So, um, again, this this particular one is the Badlands Stealth model, and uh, very, very nice. So, let's go through what, what I keep in this. And uh, So, first off, I know it's just a day pack, but anytime you go out in the woods, I always try to be prepared. Uh, you know, you don't know if you're going to get a flat tire, you're 20 miles out, something like that. You just never know. So I've got one of these little burners. Uh, it's just a flip-up style here. And then a little igniter on it. Pretty cool. And it comes with a real nice little carry bag. So this particular one here is, is made by uh, High Tech. And then I carry a little can of uh, just uh, gas here. So they don't weigh much. They don't really take up much room. So just a good idea to have that. Next on the list, uh, in no particular order, obviously a spotting scope. Uh, I do still really like this Bushnell uh, Legend T spotting scope. Oh, and by the way, Everything that I can find a link to here with these products, I'll throw them down below. Uh, uh, Amazon links uh, mainly, probably. But anyways, these are. Uh, uh, this is a very nice spotting scope. This piece here holds my phone, so I can, and it's it's ex incredibly adjustable for all kinds of different phones. Um, so this works really well. 
you can set I can set my phone up on this thing uh, take a shot I can watch bullet trace I can record slow motion um, you know if 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 I'm if I want to see if I hit a target uh, that's not steel or something I can set it, everything up record and and see you know come back and view it and see what I've hit so and th these are like I don't know 20 bucks or something they're really really cool universal too so that's awesome um, so this is I just collapse this all up strap it right to the outside of my pack usually so next I carry my Otis gun cleaning kit here and I always get a little bottle of rem oil and I always make sure that I keep this piece which does come with the kit in here too because if you get any kind of barrel obstructions or anything like that drop your gun in the dirt whatever uh, this really illuminates the inside of the barrel uh, quite nicely it's a lot different than just looking through it with a flashlight so I always carry that if I'm gonna be doing any ballistic data or want to know you know where did I find the sand trail mushrooms or where did I see the bear or the deer or whatever I always keep one of these uh, right in the rain and just get a drop my pencil um, and you know I can you, you just write in them be pouring down rain and it, it writes just fine doesn't wash away so I always keep one of these handy I keep a headlamp handy and this style has the batteries in the rear of your head um, comes with a couple different settings it's uh, a couple different brightnesses so those these are very handy but I also carry this is a streamlight uh, this is the stylus pro um, these things are indestructible they're really really good but uh, very nice so they make a couple of different ones tactical models and stuff that are black different things but I always carry one of these sets of tools I carry a Torx bit set I carry the Allen metric and I carry the Allen standards on top of that a small crescent wrench and a small little pair of vice grips come in pretty handy a couple extra pairs of uh, just earplugs I always carry a little torch they work really well and they're refillable too you just fill them up in the bottom so I just keep this full throat in my pack um, tape measure just if I want to measure groups or anything like that uh, always keep a tape measure handy an infrared gun this is a blue point uh, snap on basically and you can just uh, check the temperature 68 degrees uh, I check this you know I use this for checking the ammo temp the uh, the chamber temp on my gun and stuff especially if I'm shooting a, a fair amount uh, just because that's gonna mess with your velocities a little bit so I and I have everything all calculated um, I do all my ballistic charts right here and I do have a ballistics app, a ballistics AE that I use all the time. But you know, if, if your phone goes dead or anything like that, um, you cannot beat a printed copy. And I just laminate these. What I've done is I go uh, uh, <clears throat> for atmospheric pressure. I have uh, 30, 29, flip it over, uh, 28 and 27, and a 10 mile an hour wind, and then all my different temperatures and all that stuff on here. Very, very cool. And we're, we're actually going to do some videos on these. Uh, they're easy to make so that's uh, that's handy uh, here is a Kestrel and this this is the 5500 series um, it'll do wind density um, Coriolis all kinds of cool stuff they're not cheap but uh, these things are really really nice very nice um, I, I couldn't be more happy with this with this Kestrel 5500 um, everybody's got to have a pocket knife so I personally carry uh, SOG SOG knives are incredibly incredibly well built knives and I like the little uh, twitch thing here so you just flip that blade right open always carry one of those and if I'm hunting I carry my hunting knife this happens to be a Puma knife and Puma 
is handmade in Germany. Um, now, I don't know that I'd run out and buy one uh, just from the factory. These are insanely expensive. I, I think they're about 200 bucks. Uh, they're, they're very nice. This, this knife has actually done, geez, four or five deer probably, and I've never sharpened this knife, not once, and it's just like a razor still. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how they did that, but uh, real nice. Uh, so anyways, I, I keep a good handy hunting knife in my pack if I'm hunting. Otherwise, I usually leave it at home. Um, you can never have too much paracord. That's always good to have. I carry also my mill dot master um, so I can use the reticle in my scope uh, which is the first focal plane uh, 16 by 42 or I have the 12 by or I have a 10 by also um, so I can you know I can range stuff if, if all my other equipment were to were, were to die I still have this and this will get me on target and this thing actually works really really well uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be reviewing this here in uh, uh, just probably in the next couple weeks so stay tuned on that they're not much money they're like 25 bucks or something but uh, they're very good e even has an angle indicator which is why I have a little nine millimeter bullet tied on there so I can find my angles at the bottom here uh, I don't always carry this um, but but I, I do more often than not uh, it's uh, obviously the magneto speed so if I'm hunting in an area or shooting in an area that uh, could be very high in elevation or something uh, we're pretty much sea level here so um, sometimes I might want to just double check my velocities at those at those altitudes um, so this is handy or if you have some weird issue or something you're not hitting your target or whatever it's always good to just verify it and it's a heck of a lot easier than packing a great big chronograph so these are super cool um, I do carry just a real cheap little blanket um, sometimes I'll just take this and use it to throw on the ground uh, or, you know, it's never a bad idea to just have a little blanket and they roll up nice and tight. It's nothing big. It's not going to keep you very warm, but, um, now I take a vacuum bag, vacuum seal up everything. I've got space blanket, windproof, waterproof matches, flagging. This, uh, other plastic in here is just a sheet of, uh, just basic plastic for painting houses or whatever. Uh, I carry a pair of uh, rubber gloves and I carry a couple of uh, glow sticks in there too so uh, just kind of an emergency type thing this works um, I carry my range finder which I pretty much just run the uh, Bushnell this is the 1500 elite um, it does a pretty good job it's a little bit bigger than what I would prefer but it does a really good job. I really like it. So um, I couldn't pass it up. I actually bought this used for a song and a dance. So I, I couldn't say no. Um, now in here, this is just a bag of goodies. I've got, uh, I have a predator call in here. I uh, never know when you're going to need one. I've got some uh, clothes pins hanging up targets. Uh, you know, if you fall in the river, hang up your clothes. Um, I carry batter, extra batteries. I've got some uh, some triple A's, nine volt. Uh, I've got some of the uh, 2032 little flat little flat guys in here. A um, couple pens, uh, some Q-tips, just just odd stuff that you that you could maybe use once in a while. Uh, shooting glasses in a hard case so you don't crush them. Binoculars. So I currently am using the uh, Nikon Pro Staff binoculars. These, uh, they're reasonably priced and I really, really like those binoculars. They're very, very clear. Um, the thing I think I like about them the most is when I, I don't get any kind of double vision. It's, uh, I can open both eyes, look through it, and I don't have to do much with it. It works very well. So, let's take a look at something else here. Okay, so I've always got, of course, bullets uh, for whatever it is I'm shooting. Uh, I usually pack a pair of gloves. These are, uh, these are pretty nice gloves. They've got the little magnetic deals here that you flip over your fingers if you're real cold. They're, they're pretty nice gloves. Uh, 
These are made by uh, Wind Stoppers. Um, found them at Cabela's for like 30 bucks or something. Had them for, geez, I've had these things for like 10 years now though. Well, not quite 10, probably seven, but they're, they're holding up very nice. Um, shooting bag. I use the Caldwell. I filled the Caldwell up with uh, tumbling media because the tumbling media actually works very well and it's very lightweight. Now the other thing here, I've got this. I don't pack this because I swear this thing is filled with lead. It must weigh seven, eight pounds. Very, very heavy. Uh, but this here, just super lightweight. And you know, you can get your butt stock in there and adjust it around. It works very well. So, and it's, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, so that's kind of that. So why don't I go ahead and I'll, I'll just get everything all packed up in here real quick and so you can kind of see all this stuff and how it fits and uh, I don't know how much it's going to weigh, I don't have a scale, but uh, you'll kind of see how it all fits in there. There it is, all packed up. Probably weighs somewhere around 20 pounds is my guess. Maybe 25. But <clears throat> sits on there real nice, right in the center of your back. Carries everything just fine, real comfortable, not a lot, hands free, got your guns, whatever. Works out really, really well. I really like it. So, and then it just stores underneath my bench. So every time I want to shoot, I grab my bag, grab my gun, head to the range. Real simple. So, hey, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, and see you in a little while.